Billy Campbell here with Hog Power Sports. Today we're going to go over a couple of products that we have from Bighorn. We're going to have the golf cart lineup as well as the limo version side by side. Pretty uncommon uh, style, but uh, I think you guys will like it. Today we're going to start with the Bighorn 200 golf cart. This is actually going to be built on the same frame as the Bighorn 450, which is a side by side four wheel drive model. So what that means is these golf carts are going to be a really aggressive, uh, overbuilt, uh, made for the off-road, independent suspension style golf cart. This is not your standard easy go or anything like that. Um, it just really has a smaller motor and is designed to be more of a low speed vehicle type of product. On this, you do have the ability to have a dump bed if you'd like. Um, you'll see on this product here we have actually have a rear seating setup. Um, now this product is going to have a forward, neutral, and reverse with a parking brake, just like you'd see on a golf cart. There's not an actual park like you would find on more of a side-by-side. -side. Um, this bike's going to go about 25 miles an hour. Um, it's going to feature the same GY6 150 engine that is so common in our industry. The same thing that we find all the time on these uh, four, smaller four-wheelers, you know, entry-level four-wheelers or uh, 150 scooters, even our big dune buggy style go-karts. All that really means is that this is an extremely common motor. Uh, parts are gonna be just readily available for you. Um, and if you had to replace the whole thing, you might have 500 bucks in full installed on. Uh, that in itself makes it extremely appealing. Um, but let's get really into more of the, the features of the off-road. Um, being a independent suspension it's going to have a higher center of gravity it's going to run on cv axles it's going to have the option to have either a limited or a slip rear end or a positive traction i typically order just the positive traction because if you're really getting into an off-road golf cart like this do you really want to have the ability to be you know peg legging and one wheel drive um, so i really like to order them that way if you want them the other way of course we can have it the other way uh, where you just end up having the ability to not tear up the grass, you know, quite so much like a solid axle would. So this is gonna be a true two-wheel drive vehicle. Um, it's gonna go, again, about 25 miles per hour. You're gonna have forward, neutral, and reverse. Now, they do make this model with a high and low range. If you're in the hills, if you're in, uh, you know, somewhere that you, you know that you're gonna be needing to creep around a little bit, uh, maybe even just softer soil, then a high-low may be something that you're interested in. Here in Savannah, Georgia, we don't really have that problem. With, you know, it's got plenty of torque to move us. Uh, and when I say us, I mean me driving and three other people. You know, on down the road, it's got plenty of power for all of that. So there's no need for that high-low scenario. Um, typically, going to add somewhere between three and five hundred dollars to the uh, retail cost of the product. Uh, but overall, it's not necessary when you're on flat ground. Uh, this is going to have seat belts all the way around, blinkers. On this model set here, I don't actually have the mirrors or the windshield on. Windshields are extra. Um, you can always put a, a winch on this model as well. This is the side-by-side -side 450 body and everything, just with a smaller motor. So anything that's on the 450s can always be retrofitted and, and added on to this. Um, this is going to be the Bighorn 200 golf cart. I'm going to look at the Bighorn 450 limo. Now, when I say limo, what I mean is first row, second row, and third row. So this is gonna be your true people hauler. Maybe you've got a, a big farm and you've got uh, standers that you wanna drop off at the duck blinds um, as you go out. Maybe you've got, you know, you guys are doing some rabbit hunting, things like that. Um, something that's off-road that you're gonna really need to carry the whole, whole team or, or maybe just a whole family, you know, out riding around. This Bighorn 450 is gonna be able to do it. This is four wheel drive which is electronic locking, four wheel drive, push of a button, electronic locking, differential, push of a button also. And it's, it's really gonna be able to run all the way up to about 35 miles an hour. Now, we don't suggest that you put people facing rear, even though they're in seat belts, uh, doing 35 miles an hour. But it is capable of doing so. There's not many vehicles out there like this. So this Bighorn 450 is uh, fuel injected with a Delphi fuel injection system. It's going to be most uh, similar to a Polaris uh, for your main brand guys. Um, it's going to feature a high and a low range, uh, which low range tops out at around 25 miles an hour or so. Um, and it's going to have seat belts all the way around. It's going to have full blinker system, 
um, and HID headlights. These lights are absolutely out of this world bright. So rest assured when you're out in the woods and the deepest and darkest of places, you are gonna light the forest up for sure. Now, I mentioned this third row seating. Um, it's really awesome, it's super cool, it's, but it's an option. You don't have to have the option of the third row seating or if you want, you can interchange them out. See, they've built this product with the ability to have two cotter pins, uh, or really three, one on a resitch, and then two up underneath uh, the, the center there. You can pull the whole kit off and then place it, uh, replace it with a dump bed. Now that dump bed will actually be spring loaded so it helps you to, to dump out, but you can interchange these as your needs change. Maybe this is just for, uh, you want the capability just for maybe Thanksgiving or something like that that you're doing, where you just want to carry the crew around the, around the plantation, stuff like that. Um, this is going to be the vehicle to get it done. Um, you're really, there's not really anywhere I can think of uh, that you're not going to be able to get to that you should actually be, right? So these big horns are going to be uh, about half the price that you're going to find from you know, Polaris or Honda or something like that, and even less than that really. It's a really good uh, starting point if you're the kind of guy who wants to just add all the features and now all the stereos and all that kind of stuff. This is going to get you way under budget. With all the rear seat applications, um, like you've seen on the traditional golf carts that have rear facing seats, they all do fold down. So you don't actually lose the bed ability. What you uh, don't have is the actual dumping portion. So uh, if you don't, don't need a dump bed, if all you need is an actual bed, maybe it's just for, say, uh, logs and things like that in the winter time to make fires, as opposed to actually needing to haul rock and dirt and, and things. You're going to find that the rear seating application is just well enough for what your needs are. They have handrails along the side, so you still do have guide rails for larger items like big logs and stuff like that. Now, the biggest point on the 450, be it the two-seater or the four-seater or really any products from, uh, from Big Horn, is that these are going to be extremely cost-effective. You're looking at less than half the price that you would find from the Polaris, the Hondas um, of the world. It's going to be the one that gets you there. You're going to have all the value that you could ever want. And then on top of that, the money that you've saved is what can go into your stereo, you know, your tires, your rims, your lift kit, your snorkel, all the things that these guys are getting into these days. Um, this is going to be a true independent suspension, CV axle, high center of gravity type vehicle that will get you to and from anywhere that you're going to need to go. But it's going to do it for less than half the price. The Bighorn 450 is really the creme de la crown when it comes to it and the limo just lets everybody be a part of that. The Big Horn 450, all power sports. We're going over the Rover 200 EFI golf cart. That's going to be a Vitachi product. Now, these things are just out of this world. So let me start by fuel injected. Fuel injected really just changes the game when it comes to carts. You really just, you put your foot in the throttle and it goes. Um, traditionally, a golf cart that was gas powered, you'd hop on it press the gas and then it'll go do, 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 and take off right these are gonna be more like your car you crank them up and you put them in gear then you go right so it's pretty cool it's a quiet engine um, definitely quieter than the, the golf carts that you remember of the past you know like with the foot operated ones that like we we're talking about um, but these are gonna run around 22 23 miles an hour to keep in that low speed vehicle thing the secret is, is if you do ungovern it they will run about 32 miles an hour um, you gotta figure out how to do that though. Now these 200s are going to feature a forward and rear seating. That rear seating can fold down to make a, a bed so you're actually be able to use it for some utility. Um, the engine in these is going to be a GY6 style engine, much like uh, any of our scooters, uh, four-wheelers, uh, the entry-level ones. Um, they're going to have parts that are readily available. They're just going to be fuel injected, so uh, unlike the carburetor ones. Now, uh, that is going to turn a rear sprocket hooked to a chain onto a solid axle rear end, which also uh, obviously has a main sprocket on it. What that's going to mean is that, uh, number one, it's a very simplistic design. It's not really an off-road style scenario, and it's going to be a little bit more of a stiffer ride, uh, something that's going to be geared for a higher end speed for sure. Um, that simplicity though, saves you on the price. The price of these carts is going to be probably half price of something that you're gonna see from EasyGo or a car or something like that. Uh, maybe 
I should say, the major brands. Um, they are uh, they're very efficient parts. They're going to really take the, kind of the whole crew around, uh, but they're definitely more of a neighborhood cruiser than an off-road go-getter. Um, so different than maybe some of the other parts we sell, like the big parts and stuff. Uh, they do have some storage options uh, up in the front. They're going to have uh, probably enough to put you know, a couple of pack, uh, 12 packs of you know, your favorite drink um, and a little one underneath the main seat as well. One of the cool things that really gets people with these is the lighting. It has a uh, light bar that comes standard across the top of the cart um, as well as LED lights uh, on the front of the cart. It's very bright. I mean, you will not lack any lighting period um, it's got a really cool bull bar and it's got hydraulic brakes all the way around it so stopping is absolutely no issue this cart's going to have forward neutral reverse and a park brake so just like any other golf cart you're going to have to put that park brake in when you come to stop an extra feature that they do have uh, is tilt steering so you can actually raise that steering wheel up or bring it down that's pretty cool and quite a feature on a cart like this um, an outlet that is going to be able to charge at 10 amps means that you're going to be able to run about anything that you want to on it um, and also it's got a double USB outlet for your phone chargers and uh, maybe your your sound system or something like that so overall this is a really awesome option it's a big cart uh, it's definitely it's full size as you're going to get in terms of legroom um, and the ability for Patrick uh, passenger creature comforts um, but uh, the Rover 200 is going to be the eye of your neighborhood for sure. This is the Rover 200 from Cougar Cycles.